Welcome to another Rocket League video. Today I want to answer you the question, when you should use the ball cam in Rocket League. First of all, if you want to activate the ball cam, just click spacebar. You can see that this ball cam is active on the text left at the bottom. If you want to deactivate this, just click a second time spacebar. So, now back to the question. In my opinion it is better just to play for 100% of the time with the ball cam than never because as you can see in this situations, you can often lost orientation or it is difficult to find the place from the ball. So especially for people who are inexperienced and don't often play this game, I would recommend to set this ball cam as default. The only disadvantage of this ball cam is that you are just focusing on the ball and not on your enemies. So you are not completely Felix Bull. That's why you can deactivate the ball cam in some situations. For example if you want to break someone to defend you teammate, or if you want to avoid a crash, then it can be useful to deactivate the ball cam. But you can also click escape, then go to options and then go to camera. There you can set it to hold ball camera, if you just want to see the ball. If you hold your space bar, I think, this is a good alternative for all players, who appreciate it to don't use the ball cam much often. But if we now look at the match with the ball cam, you can see that I can locate the ball much better than without the ball cam. And now how it looks like. If you must hold space bar to see the ball or if you switch between the two perspectives. I think this second opportunity to switch between the two cams is the best for experienced players, who want to follow the ball and who want to see at the same time what the enemies are doing to foresee better the actions from the others. But I think most of you are no pro players, so I think for you is it better to use the ball cam for 90 or 100% and just in some situations, where you have to watch your enemy you can change the camera. But finally it is of course your opinion, when to use this ball cam. I think there are a lot of different meanings, so if you want, you can tell me your opinion and you can discuss about this. So the only disadvantage is the point, that you are not able to see all by just using the ball cam, so use it, when you are an experienced player or if you have problems by locating the ball and don't use this ball cam, but just in some situation, if you are a pro player and you have to foresee as fast as possible the next actions from your enemy, I hope, this video could help you, thanks for watching.